One of the big issues for ISDA in 2021 is the implementation of the final parts of the Basel III framework, including the fundamental review of the trading book and the revised credit valuation adjustment framework. Given the impact of the coronavirus pandemic, the deadline for these rules was delayed by a year until January 1st, 2023. With less than two years to go, this will be a big area of focus in 2021. In the latest edition of IQ Magazine, we have an article that explores ISDA's benchmarking initiative for standardized approaches under the FRTB and CVA, as well as the standardized approach to counterparty credit risk. With me to discuss this is ISDA's head of capital, Paniotis Dionysopoulos. Paniotis, thanks for joining us. Hey, Joe. So greater use of standardized approaches to calculating capital requirements is going to be a key element of Basel III. Why is this? And what are the characteristics of these new standardized approaches? So with a general move away from internal models, standardized approaches have become more sophisticated so that they are a credible fallback to internal models. This makes standardized approach implementation more challenging for the banks. It is important to note that standardized approaches will play a key role in the output floor calculation that forms part of the Basel III requirements. So with the aim of promoting greater accuracy and consistency in the use of standardized approaches, is to launch the SA Benchmarking Initiative back in 2018. How does this benchmarking initiative work and how do banks benefit from using it? The objective is to ensure consistent and accurate implementation of standardized approaches. The benchmarking exercise has two distinct parts, the unit test and the hypothetical portfolio exercise. Unit test aims to validate the aggregation of the risk sensitivities performed by the banks in line with regulatory rules while the hypothetical portfolio exercise is an end-to-end test for potential variability in the bank's capital models using hypothetical portfolios of varying complexity across the asset classes. ISDA benchmarking has supported 55 banks, including 23 global systemically important institutions in their FRTB standardized approach implementation. Major source of value for the banks relates to the analysis the banks receive participating in the ISDA benchmarking initiative. So as the industry now moves towards Basel III implementation in 2023, what's next for this project? The initial focus has been on FRTB, but this is now extending to cover standardized approach for counterparty credit risk and credit valuation adjustment. So essentially cover the full suite of trading book standardized capital models. We are in dialogue with more banks, regulators, and technology providers about extending further the project with particular focus on regional benchmarking exercises. Is that benchmarking initiative is currently limited to standardized approaches, but same principles and tools may apply to internal models benchmarking and maximize efficiencies in that space as well. Well, thanks very much, Paniotis. You can read more about ISDA SA benchmarking, including interviews with banks and regulators in the latest edition of IQ Magazine, which is free to download on the ISDA website at isda.org. Thank you.